Joining the Navy is something I always had in my back pocket growing up. A lot of my uh, family members were in the Navy. Um, my, my dad, my uncles, um, and then all my grandparents were in the military too from World War II and Korean War and Vietnam and things like that going through life. So um, military was something that was in my blood. But growing up, I just never really um, understood it or really appreciated it. In the Navy, is, you know, typical. You, you go to um, Great Lakes, Illinois, your boot camp, and then my uh, A school was there. So my, my medic school was there. And then um, I went to Camp Pendleton to do some training with the Marines. First getting in, you know, to the military and the service, um, it wasn't what I expected as much. Um, it's kind of like going to school, going to college, you know. It's like a, it's like a party, you know. You, you go to school, you, you're learning your trait, you know, your job, and, um, and you're having fun while you're doing it. Um, so that was going into it. And then things get a little bit more serious. I had a couple different um, training opportunities, and then I ended up in Hawaii with, with the 1st Battalion, 3rd Marine Division. CAT 2, which is Combined Anti-Armor Team 2. And that was my first deployment to Afghanistan. And then um, my second deployment, I was with, um, we call it the Embedded Training Team, ETT. The things I enjoyed the most about being in the service was, um, was in my line of work, was uh, just the feeling of doing something good, you know? Um, helping people, you know, helping people physically and then mentally as far as like medicine, you know, forming relationships with, um, with people, your peers, with other people in the service. I think that was the toughest part for me. I was friendly with a lot of people, but I only had a tight niche group of people that were in my uh, circle, I guess. And um, the, the, the toughest part about it was um, having that because in my line of work, um, I don't know, people uh, come and go and then, you know, people get hurt and people die. I always, I always say this, the service, being in the military doesn't defy who I am. I'm the way I am, I'm the man I am today, the husband, the father, and the friend, and son, um, because of the people who raised me. The Navy uh, taught me some things, you know. It's just something I did, something I could tell my kids one day, you know, um, the things that I've done and seen.